Here we address the question, why is carbon dioxide a gas and silicon dioxide a solid at room temperature? And what I have here is a big quartz crystal of silicon dioxide. And here I have carbon dioxide gas rising up in a little uh, container of uh, Alka-Seltzer and water. Now to address the question, we need to know how to draw the structure for these materials, uh, for these substances. Uh, carbon dioxide has a Lewis structure that looks like this, where carbon forms two double bonds to oxygens, and this carbon dioxide occurs as discrete molecules, and uh, the only interactions it has with other carbon dioxide molecules is essentially London forces. And so those weak forces result in it being a gas at room temperature. Now for silicon dioxide, what we have for a Lewis structure is something like this, in which silicon forms four single bonds to oxygens, and then these oxygens in turn form single bonds to other silicon atoms. Now you might say, okay, well there's four oxygens on the silicon, why is it not SiO4? What you need to realize is that these oxygens are shared between the silicon atoms. And so there are four half oxygens per silicon atom. So this gives a net formula of SiO2. Now the reason silicon does this, rather than forming double bonds to oxygen, is that the silicon atoms are large enough that you cannot, they cannot form pi to pi interactions with other atoms very easily. In other words, silicon just doesn't tend to form double bonds quite as readily as carbon. And so carbon dioxide exists as small molecules. Silicon dioxide exists as network covalent solids. Hypothetically, this big quartz crystal here could be one single molecule.